now on, no more Mr. Good Guy. Fun's over. Hey, here's Universal Orlando Resort. Okay, so we just walked into the main gift shop, and the first thing of Halloween Horror Nights that we see is this pretty cool. You got like it looks like kind of like an alleyway. You got the barrel with Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, you got a fire extinguisher or fire hydrant right there, like a large tractor tire. It's pretty cool. And then look at all this uh, Ghostbuster stuff here. You got Ghostbuster socks. Ghostbuster mugs, uh, Frozen Empire related. Here's the shirt for this year. So it's pretty cool. I mean, they, they actually pretty have have a pretty good theme this year, you know. Here's some uh, thermos cups. Okay, here's a look at some buttons. These are buttons. Yeah, they're buttons. And uh, got like a little uh, thing to hold your um, annual pass in or your ticket. They got some lanyards down here. And got like a sweatshirt. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Halloween Horror Nights. It's kind of like a punk rock style. Uh, it's the same as a shirt, but it's a sweatshirt. Pretty cool. Now this is actually pretty cool too. This is uh, Dr. Sweet Tooth. Kind of looks like me in a way, but uh, yeah. So it's pretty cool. I might end up getting this shirt actually. Not this one. Too small. But uh, might get a shirt with this logo on it. They even have like little candy jars. That's pretty cool. Keychains and the buttons. Pretty cool buttons. Okay, so this is more along their theme this year. Um, I'm not exactly sure what all this is, but uh, here's uh, from a Quiet Place. More thermos cups here. Oh, here's the back. Here's the back of the sweatshirt here. It's pretty cool. And then here you got a hat, Insidious the Further. Okay. Wow. I also noticed this, they got these studio screamers. So here's like a Hannibal Lecter character, a vampire bat. This is uh, David David S. Pumpkin, that guy, uh, Megan. I'm not sure who this is, like a crow or something like that. And then they've got like little fanny packs here with looks like bloody bloody fanny packs. I swear I just heard him say something. Purchase of Chucky Popcorn Bucket first fill is free. $43.99. Okay, here's another look. You got the quiet place up there on the fence. And then you've got, this is the new theme this year. It's like punk rock or something. You got Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. 24 with the skull really colorful you got like little plastic fins you got uh, decals and stuff like that decal sheet uh, here it looks like oh so this is their this is the shirt with all the houses on it you got insidious the further triplets of terror major sweet candy factory goblins and feast slaughter cinema Eternal Bloodlines, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. Okay, should be pretty good. It looks like there's only like three really big ones. Here's, an, here's another shirt right here. This is kind of really cool looking. Halloween Horror Nights. It's got the 
little octopus tentacle there, and then you've got the skull, the brains, eyeball, pumpkin. You got like a little stuffed pumpkins here. Bunch more cups here. I like the colors. The colors are really good. They got like a little bag here too. Um, and then look at these like little plastic drink cups. We got a lot of stuff this year, yeah. Look at all this. It's like a little fake plant here with the pumpkin. And you even got a, uh, what is that, like a little calendar? Oh, okay. Chucky, you want to play? Can you show me your red eyes? You want to play? Here we go. I noticed this shirt here. This is really cool. And Insidious has to deal with the nun, too. It's 2024. Uh, you know, Slimer and, and the Mars Busters. Pretty cool. They got a lot of money. All right, guys. Well, let's head on into the park and see what we can see. All right. Here's a look at the Universal Globe. There it is. Guys, here's the entrance to Universal Florida. And here's all the signage right up above. All right, guys. So here we are at the park. I'm super excited. Cannot believe that uh, Halloween Hornets is only a week away or less. All right. So this is the first thing you're going to see right here is the Halloween Hornets entrance. And there's stairs that go up here. And then they walk out on the ledge. So this is the first thing you see when you come down with your night. All right, guys, finally got my drink. Uh, God, it feels good on a hot day. I need me to get something to eat somewhere. Uh, so let's head on in. Um, I don't ever want to do Louis. Do I want to do Louis? It's either Louis or Moe's. All right, guys, got my meatball sub here at Louis. So we can dig into this. And I'm cooling off. It's super hot outside. Still got my drink in hand. And this time I got cherry vanilla Coke. The last time it was just regular Coke. And let's go ahead and taste into this thing. Usually Louis is pretty good. Probably one of the best theme park foods here. The bread is really nice and fresh. It's not too doughy. It's not too uh, like overcooked. The meatballs are nicely seasoned. Obviously, they melted. I can tell by the shape. Provolone cheese on top with a little bit of parsley. And the most important part, <clears throat> perfect amount of sauce. Mm. Wow. You really can't go wrong with Louis. All right, guys, we are in Springfield here at Simpsons Land over by Moe's Tavern. And uh, we are heading over towards the DreamWorks Land. Now, there is a storm coming in right now it's getting a little dark and uh we'll see how that goes but uh shouldn't last too long here we're in florida we know how it goes okay almost over to dreamworks land i'm not hearing any thunder or any lightning or seeing any lightning but uh you know i have my gopro my bag and everything here we are with the dreamworks and we just heard our first thunder and they're announcing right now ride closures on the inside of the park so there will be no outside roller coasters going on right now that means most things at Universal are closed all right guys this is perfect it's about ready to rain a lot of people are gonna leave I want to hear Budweiser let's go are you ready for Budweiser Here's we got it all right Okay, now that the rain has kind of subsided, I just noticed the shirt Mel's die in because they always take the RV out. So that's a pretty cool shirt. 
They even have a, a sign here for Mel's die-in. And it even says Universal Orlando Annual Pass Holder. Uh, but I believe anybody can buy it. Of It's a five and dime store We're at, right in front of the I showed you the Mel's die-in shirt, cool. which Check is pretty out. cool. I can't wait for Halloween Horror Nights, guys. And here's one more thing. Also, they have these light-up Halloween things. Uh, I guess they light up at the base, and there are all sorts of colors. And, of course, here you have all these pens. Uh, pretty cool-looking pens. A little punk rock, as I said. A little eyeball there, and a little Halloween Horror Nights. And, uh, you know, here's some candles. Some scented candles. It's, um... Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. And then here, I don't know if you guys are into this, but they have like these little bags with chains on them. And uh, not really my style, but you might like them if you like that kind of thing. Here's like a little wallet, little chain wallet too. And also I noticed these too, that these things can be uh, quite convenient if you put your pass in there, you have it on your belt loop and you just... Uh, bring it up and it's like a tape measure just snaps back in place so that's pretty cool okay it is still slightly raining outside it's a little cloudy uh, but it has lightened up a lot I'm gonna have to wait a few minutes because I don't want to get my phone wet uh, I believe the tribute store is still the same and they're opening up another tribute store by where the mummy is so that should be really cool. And here's Mel's diving. Driving. Okay, guys, here we are in Marvel Land. Look at how cool this looks. You got Cafe Four, Fantastic Four with Johnny the Flame there. You got the arcade. You got Spider Man on down the way. Here's the Fantastic Four vehicle all lit up. It's always so pretty down here, you know what I mean? And uh, I really enjoy it. Yeah, here I am, standing in Marvel Land, guys. There's one more look at Wolverine, guys. Awesome. And his claws are still even a Spider-Man, baby. Here's another look at Marvel Land. Awesome.